Welcome everyone. In this video, we're doing a 15.7 problem from a previous exam. I'm back here from spring 2015, so quite a ways ago. Uh, and again, 15.7 is about triple integrals. So, okay, here's our region E, uh, which is points in three space, right? X's, Y's, and Z's, such that, and here's a bunch of conditions, and we want to write this triple integral as an iterated integral. Right, uh, And then we're going to go ahead and evaluate. So the big thing here is that we need to choose an order of integration. We're integrating the function, relatively nice function 1 here, but we need to decide should it be dz dy dx, should it be dx dy dz, what's going on here, right? And so we need to look at these bounds in order to figure this out. So as I read, kind of maybe starting on this left-hand side here, I see that the bounds for x depend on z. So in this iterated integral, I know that the x integral has to come before the z integral. So it's got to be x before z, whatever happens here. So I'll just go ahead and denote it like this. Let's go ahead and skip to z really quick. So z here, z has uh, bounds that depend on y. So z has to come before y. So it looks like it has to be x, then z, then y. Let's go ahead and check y's bounds just to make sure here. So let's see, y ranges from 1 to 5, excellent, right? So these should be constants. So I believe that we should do dx first, then dz, then dy. So let's go ahead and set that up. For my x integral, it goes from 0 to z. For my z integral, it goes from y to 5. And for my y integral, it goes from 1 to 5. So there is the setup. That's the first part. So we've went ahead and we've written this triple integral as an iterated integral. Now we need to go ahead and evaluate this thing. So our first step, let's go ahead and evaluate out our x integral. So these two stay the same, 1 to 5, y to 5. And when I evaluate, right, when I integrate 1 with respect to x, I'm going to get x. And we're going to go ahead and evaluate that from 0 to z. So let me go ahead and maybe combine a few steps here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in z and 0 in for my x. So this is going to be z minus 0, or just z. Remember, I still have my z integral and my y integral. All right, so let's go ahead and evaluate out the next one. So dz, so I'm integrating with respect to z. My y integral, not yet. So when I integrate with respect to z, I'm going to have z squared over 2. And I need to evaluate, let's see, from y to 5. I still have my y integral here. This one's a little bit more complicated, so let me actually break it down and do another step here. So, okay, when I plug in 5, I'm going to have 25 halves. Subtract, play, subtract away when I plug in y, so I'm going to have y squared over 2. Now let's go ahead and integrate with respect to y. So I'm going to have 25 halves y minus, and this is going to be y cubed, and then we need to divide by 3 here, so this is going to be 2 times 3, that's 6. And again, I need to evaluate from 1 to 5 in this case. So let's go ahead. If I was to plug in 5, let's see, I would have 125 halves. So 5 times 25 is 125. Subtract away. All right, and we're going to go ahead and plug in 5 here. So 5 cubed, so that's 5 times 5 would be 25, times another 5, that'd be 125 sixths. And then we're going to go ahead and subtract away when I plug in 1. So that's going to be 25 halves, and then minus, and let's see, 1 sixth. So let's go ahead and maybe combine our like terms. So let's see, we have... Uh, 25 halves, and we're subtracting away, sorry, 125 halves, and we're subtracting away 25 halves, so that's going to be 100 halves. And then let's see, we have negative 125 sixths, and we're going to subtract away, that's going to be the same thing as adding 1. So if I go ahead and I add 1 to that, well, adding 1, that's going to go, it's going to drop down this negative. So instead of 125 sixths, sorry, negative 125 sixths, it's going to be negative 125 four sixths. So let's see, 100 halves, that's going to be the same thing as 50. And while this 24 may give us a lot of hope that this one can be fully simplified down, unfortunately it cannot, so this is going to be minus 62 thirds. If you'd like to, you can simplify even farther, but this is where I'm going to leave our final answer. So 50 
minus 62 thirds. Again, this is going to be close to, right, 60 thirds uh, would be around 20. So 50 minus 20, the answer is around 30. All right, that's it for this problem. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.